Welcome back to this side of 40. This is your girl Lou and I have some exciting news for you guys. So like I said, I didn't get all my Christmas presents on Christmas because some of them came later. We're going to come later in the mail. Um, I.e. I have two I Fancy palettes. One my daughter gave me and one Ricky gave me. The one my daughter gave me, I'm going to um, basically take one of them back tomorrow to Sephora and trade it for something else. And then um, Ricky had got me that stuff from Milani. And then doo -doo 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 -doo, Juvia's Place. So Ricky knows how bad I want to have a full face of one brand. And so Ricky with his loving self got me a full face of one brand and that is Juvia's Place. So I did open it so I could see what it looked like because you know I'm nosy and I was excited and so this is not a true unboxing. You're not getting the first view with me. Um, however, I am going to show you guys what it looked like. So Ricky got me the foundation and this is in the color is good for 24 months and this is in the color Lagos. 240 and that's what Legos looks like on me you see that I swatched it you see that I let it oxidize and everything Legos is my skin color y'all then he got me a concealer and this one is in um, magic conceal 10 I don't know what color this that is but let's look into it I didn't swatch the concealer yet. In everybody's video who I watched that had concealer from Julia's Place said get one like two to three shades lighter than your skin. So there goes the concealer. And let's just kind of move it around on my foundation. <coughs> and... That's what the <coughs> concealer looks like. You guys, I'm about to have the best foundation concealer routine. Thanks to Buh. Thank you, Buh. You're welcome. He's amazing. He's amazing. Then, next he got me one of their um, matte liquid lipstick. And this is in Africa. And... It's a red, hold on, and I'm trying to figure out how to get it out of here. Because it comes in there, and yeah, this is a pain in the tush to open. Oh. Okay, Julius Place, come through with all the packaging. Like, it came out of there, and then you still have to break the seal? That's what I'm talking about. I'm all excited about having this. This is my first time um, being able to say I have a full face. Because uh, in February, everybody always does like a full face of black owned brands. Or they'll have black owned makeup companies and they'll show them. And I've never been able to do so. But now, this year, I will. And... This is the color, and it's a little orangey red. I like blue lace reds, but thank you anyway, because I'm going to wear it. <coughs> so that's that. And then Ricky got me the, the Tribe palette. And I cut the seal on it before I came on with you guys so I could be able to open it easier. And this is what she looks like on the outside. Comes with the little clear seal thing and little sheer paper. And this is what the colors look like. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I love those colors. Now, I did get another Juvia's Place palette from my 17-year-old 
uh, for Christmas. And I really haven't, I like kind of went through it. I got one last year and I got one this year. And I was going to show you like all the palettes I have from Julia's Place. And this is actually the Africa palette that matches that lipstick. That's what my daughter got me. Okay, so now I understand how come he got me what he got me. Because he got me the thing to match the palette she got me. And... Look at those colors. Ooh. You see those colors? I'm not swatching anything because I feel like all over YouTube, there's people who swatch Juvia's Place palettes all the time. And I'm happy for them, but I don't want to like dip my fingers in it. And then this is the palette I got last year for Christmas from my daughter. And I've opened it a couple times that not really got into it, got into it. And that's what this one looks like. And this one is the Masquerade Mini. So now I have one, two, three Juvia's Place palettes. And I have a foundation, a concealer, and a lipstick. from Julia's Place. This is my full face of a high-end product brand. I know like some people don't consider this to be high-end, but for me this is high-end because $25 for an eyeshadow palette? Girl, I, not in my lifetime did I ever dream that I could say I, can, I had that. And a foundation that costs more than $10? Girl, I'm so excited. So, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below and I'll thank you for watching and if you didn't subscribe and you watched me all the way to this point why not hmm tell me <laughs>